finally the city is up and running. I can't even believe this day has come. It's been so long. We've all been cooped up in one way or another. This is the time I got to get out. It was a beautiful sunny day and I thought let me go to one of Toronto's oldest neighborhoods, Roncesvalles, Vale, which is located in the west end of Toronto. I can't even believe this day has come where we can get out and about. You can see people are dropping money everywhere they're going, buying coffees, buying blueberries, buying lunch and then buying lunch again. It's great, touching stuff tangibly. These are the things that are gonna get us back to where we need to be. Perfect timing to, for me to get back in the streets myself and, and just uh, create some moments. So let's get to it. So as usual, I shot everything today on my Ricoh GR2. It is my go-to street photography point and shoot digital camera. Now that's a mouthful, but I love it. I love how small and compact it is. And today I actually wanted to explore one of the features that I love on this camera, which is the effects mode. Now this is a feature I don't really use too often, but today I'm doing something different. I'm shooting in, okay, come you ready? JPEG. O-M-G, JPEG. All right, hang him up, toss him out the window. He don't wanna shoot raw. Here's the problem, when you shoot raw and you put an effect on it, you can't save that image with the effect on it. But if you shoot in JPEG, you can totally keep the actual image how you saw it in camera with that effect on it. Does that make sense? I said, forget this, I'm so afraid to shoot JPEG, why? I shoot JPEG with my phone all the time, it's not a big deal. I've sold so many prints that are JPEGs and the quality is still high. Now, RAW is ideal, but because I wanna use the effects, I really said, forget it. Do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know on the Ricoh GR2 or Ricoh GR3, what is your favorite effect to put on your images. So it's not just about shooting a JPEG, it's not just about putting effects on, it's a combination of uh, continually pushing yourself with the same equipment that you have. There's gonna be times where you just say to yourself, you know, what's the point? What, why am I going out there shooting black and white when I know I only like color? This is a valid point and it happens to all of us, but I think the difference is, have you tried every type of scenario with your photography. And I think that's all today was. It was a day of shooting um, with only effects on my camera and really uh, trying to edit less. Just get it out of camera, get out there, shoot, 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 and see what we come with. Okay, so now I wanna show you how easy it is to access the effects mode on your Ricoh GR2. Now I'm assuming the GR3 has effects as well, but uh, this is specifically for the Ricoh GR2. So let's check it out. Okay, so on the side of your camera, you see it says effects right there. And then once you press that, boom, you've got the whole list and it goes from off to black and white, black and white TE, which is toning effect, I believe, high contrast black and white, cross process, positive film, my favorite, Bleach Bypass, Retro, Miniaturize, Shift Crop, High Key, HDR Tone, Clarity, Brilliance, Slight, Vibrant, Bright, and Portrait. I mean, these are a ton of options that you can have access to immediately. Just throw the effect on and just see what your photos look like. Even if you take 10 photos and they all have, each one has a different effect, you will start to see what you like, what you gravitate towards, and it will just change up your photography or at least your mindset. All right, so now you've selected the effect that you wanna use. The next step is to press detail or function two, which is in the left-hand corner on the back screen. You click that, now I have access to saturation, contrast, sharpness, and vignetting. Now you can actually make the effect custom. And I think that is uh, where most people either get lazy or get intimidated. But to me, at the end of the day, what you get from this is to make it your own. My example, I put sat saturation to plus seven. Uh, my contrast, I'll leave it at six, plus six. And the sharpness, I like to bring it down to three. So it's plus three. Um, I want my images not to be so perfect and sharp and that's the whole vibe of the Ricoh GR2 anyways, is just gritty, get out there, shoot, and try your settings. Try stuff, try, 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 and you will get better. Another thing that's cool about the effects mode, you can go into three custom settings. 
my one, my two, and my three. So right now I have two set up, one for positive film and another for uh, high contrast black and white. So these are two settings that I've custom. I made it with the ND filter on. I fixed my settings like saturation, contrast, and sharpness. I put the format that I want to shoot in, however you want your images to look four by three, one by one. It really depends. So these are all things that are going to help you just get out there and shoot because you've already locked them in. Putting effect on your camera just before you shoot is very similar to um, selecting your favorite film stock on your film camera and saying, okay, this is what we're shooting with today. Today we're shooting with Portra 400. Today we're shooting with Cinestill 800. And that's it. You're dealing with the, um, the restrictions of that film stock. So you're dealing with the restriction of this effect that you put on your camera. And I think it's a great way to challenge your, your mind into saying, look, this is how it's gonna look no matter what you do. And of course, with technology, we can fix the edits after if we want, but the goal is to be better in camera, in my opinion. You just wanna be one with your equipment and therefore you don't need a lot of equipment. You're just good with what you have and you make the most of it. All right, so that's it for today. A pretty short video all in all. Man, I just loved using the positive film effect. Quite frankly, I think the effects um, build your confidence and help you experiment. You're not keeping yourself within these rules and these boxes. You're made to be broken out of those. So you really got to get out there and say to yourself, what's it all about for me? And today it was about just letting go of raw files and saying, this looks good. I'm going to document this image done. It seems like things are opening up overall, all around the world. So let me know, have you been out shooting? Were you shooting through the pandemic? And if you were, do you feel a little bit more inspired now? I mean, maybe because it was a sunny day, I was really excited. I just want to know, have you been out in the streets? All right, so that's it. So until the next video, stay creative and believe in yourself. Peace.